Okay, so I'm working on the back wall now. I uh, built this earlier uh, when it's still raining outside, so it's in my garage. I'm going to sheathe the outside now with some uh, secondhand plywood that I got. I wanted to do 2 and 11, but free is free. So I'll paint this. It'll look nice. Um, anyway, since I'm doing it by myself and it starts to sprinkle, um, and I'm going to put construction adhesive on this as well, I, I made these jigs so that I can put the construction adhesive down and then sheath it uh, one person. So basically I took some scrap wood and I made this step. Another uh, two by two and then another piece. And so I'll put the construction adhesive down and then I'll set the plywood up on top of this and then I will have it all lined up there and then I will pull it back and uh, it will drop onto the construction adhesive and it won't smear. So. Um, Last time it was kind of a hassle to get it to all line up. So this will be just kind of a jig that will uh, hopefully make it a little easier. Um, and then since this is flush, I can uh, kind of press against it and get it all settled down. So we'll see how it works. All right, well, here's the completed back wall. The brackets work pretty good, the jigs. Um, this uh, plywood had a bit of a bow to it, so I put it cup down, I guess you could say and had to put some weight on it to uh, flatten it out, but I think it's going to work well. I'm going to move it into my garage to um, let the uh, construction adhesive cure. It's a bit of an overhang from the uh, plywood that I'll, I might trim up on this end, but I also left extra material on the far... This will cover the bottom. This will hang off the end. Well, here's the back wall. I figured I'd stand up, take a look at it. Like I said, I'm going to move this in the garage here in the, in the warmth, but that's basically what it's going to look like. Tap that in a little bit further. I'm, uh, since I'm using pretty light gauge materials, and we do get a fair amount of snow up here, I uh, want to turn all these panels into um, shear frames, shear walls. So that's why I'm gluing and screwing, and you can see, looks like one of the screws went through, there's a... Um, not there so I might back that out since I know that's there and just fix it here's the back wall it's uh, another panel here's another look at the chicken coop you can see how the roof pitches away from the nesting box end so try to keep that drier Here's a look at the roof. You can see that I beveled the edges here so that it would be straight up and down when the roof is on. I ran the 2x4 through my table saw at 14 degrees on both sides and the thickness of the 2x3. I left this one long so I can mount a uh, gutter on it. Here's the roof with the sheathing on it. We get a lot of snow up here so I decided to go 8 inch on center with the uh, sheathing screws and uh, this is going to have a metal roof uh, at some point so uh, it should hold up pretty well.